Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, today we will go through the logo design process, including logo pricing, how to get logo design ideas, several logo sketching, how to do vectorizing by illustrator, and presentation to the client, so watch till the end carefully, let's get started. Some days ago I get a new message on my email account, and they asked me for a logo design project, the company name was Tech Today and it is technology-based online newsletter platform, they want to use some modern bird as their logo, so after discuss with the project details, we both agreed with the price 600 US dollars, then I give him invoice with that price, and ask him to pay 50% advance to get started, and then I start working on it. So first, let's find some inspiration, from the various website by searching some keyword. You have to find out, which keyword is relevant to your project. Now let's find some inspiration based on Eagle. You can also see some real logo based on Eagle or anything. Don't forget to check our Dribbble website too. Also Behance is so helpful too for me. Okay. Now let's jump into the Photoshop, and do some basic sketching, I will suggest you to do 20 sketches on every project. You don't need to have professional skill on drawing, just show what idea do you have on your mind. So after done some modifications, we come up with this design, now let's do another one. First go to this butterfly icon, and click on vertical. Place it in the middle, so that we can get a mirror effect. You can use pen and paper instead of Photoshop. Personally I prefer pen and paper to complete this task. After get the main shape, we can try to give some shadow here. So after done all the modifications, we get this shape, so now let's jump into Illustrator, and make it vector. First select the sketch image, and set the opacity 40%. Then go to Object, Lock, and click on Selection, so that we can't move the sketch, then create a new layer and start working on it. Press Ctrl and R to activate Roller, and create some horizontal and vertical guide. It will help us to create the logo easily. Also create a guide into the middle. That's perfect, now take the pen tool, and start create path like me.
First we will create one side, so that we can reflect it to the other side. Complete the full shape. Now press Ctrl and R to hide the guide, select the shape we created, select the reflect tool, and then press Alt, and click in the middle. Then press on copy. Now select all the line, go to the pathfinder panel, and click on unite. Ok, our body part is complete, now let's work with the head portion. No need to be exact like the sketch, just observe, what will look good. Don't finish here, complete a full shape. Ok, now select all the shape, go to the pathfinder panel, and click on unite. Now take the direct selection tool, and select this anchor point together, by pressing shift and click. and then rounded the corner. That's perfect, now take the ellipse tool, and draw a small circle to make the eye. Select all the line, and press Ctrl plus 8, to make it compound path. And then swap the color from stroke to fill. Then select the shape, go to edit, cut, and then delete the sketch image, then go to edit again, and click on paste in front. That's perfect, now let's color it, and give some 3D effect on it. Select the logo, go to the gradient panel, and click on gradient, the double click one side of the gradient color, take the eyedropper tool, and take this color. Do the same with the other side too and then take the gradient tool, and drag one side to another side. Now take the pen tool, and draw a shape here. Give it a white color for understanding. Select both shape, and delete the outside shape, by the Shape Builder tool. Rounded this corner with the Direct Selection tool. Then select the shape, go to the Gradient panel and click on Gradient, then make one side of the gradient darker, and other side gradient opacity zero. That's perfect, now make another shape here, and do the same. and here as well. That's great, now select this three shadow shape by pressing shift, then take the reflect tool, and reflect it to the other side. Ok, now we will work with the head portion with following the same method. You can use this system with any of your logo. Now we will create some technology chain by the pen tool. Swap the color from fill to stroke, make the color black, and round this corner. 
then reflect it to the other side. After that create some circle over the line. And set the stroke size two points. Select all the small circle and reflect it to the other side. Now select all the line and circle, go to the object, and click on expand. Then go to the pathfinder panel, and click on unite, and decrease the opacity a bit. After doing some modifications, we got this design, and presented to the client. Now it's time to give some practice based on this video, take a screenshot of this image, and do this vector by your own style, and post it on your Instagram with the hashtag Vectplus, I will review it, so that's all for today, if you like this video, please consider subscribe, see you in the very next video, have a great day.